7 things to do if you are missing your ex. Missing someone. Coping with a breakup is far from easy. It entails tears, longing, and a profound sense of exhaustion, given the emotional stakes involved for many of us. Yet, how do we navigate this challenging terrain? Often, we're encouraged to refrain from reaching out to our former partners. So, how can we manage the void that follows? Here are seven strategies to help you cope with those moments of missing your ex. 1. Sharing your thoughts and pain. In addition to allowing yourself to shed tears, which can significantly alleviate the pain, another effective method for feeling better is through sharing. Seek out someone willing to listen empathetically, whether it's a friend, family member, or counselor. Choose someone who you can trust implicitly, ensuring they won't pass judgment or spread gossip. Open up to them fully, but ensure they're trustworthy and discreet. 2. Productive activities. An incredibly effective approach to managing the pain is to engage in productive activities. Redirect your emotions into a constructive endeavor. You might consider painting or refurbishing an old trunk into a stylish centerpiece. Alternatively, tackle tasks you've been putting off, like tidying up your living space or organizing your refrigerator. Gardening can also be therapeutic. Attend to pending paperwork or any neglected responsibilities. The key is to avoid idleness. Create a schedule and stick to it until you start feeling a sense of relief. This proactive approach can help stave off feelings of loneliness that may be encroaching. 3. Journaling. Some memories and thoughts are too personal to share with others. Instead, consider pouring your heart out in a journal that you keep for yourself. You might opt for a traditional handwritten journal or create an e-notebook on your phone for convenience. Sometimes, the old-fashioned methods prove to be the most effective. Writing it all down can be therapeutic in its own right. 4. Self-improvisation. View yourself as a personal project and dedicate time to self-improvement. Engaging in self-care activities can be incredibly motivating. Consider working out, going for a jog, practicing yoga, or dancing. If makeup is your passion, experiment with different looks and perhaps even create videos, as commonly seen on social media platforms today. Anything that keeps you engaged and assists in rediscovering yourself is worthwhile. 5. Travel. Rather than remaining at home feeling despondent, backpacking offers an excellent opportunity for rejuvenation. It refreshes your mind, exposes you to new experiences, and is renowned for broadening perspectives. Take a look at a map, identify unexplored destinations, and make the necessary arrangements or set out spontaneously, stopping wherever piques your interest. Many people opt for homestays during their travels. If taking time off isn't feasible, consider a workation if you're able to work remotely. 6. Catching up. In numerous instances, being in a relationship can inadvertently lead to distancing oneself from friends, prioritizing time with one's partner instead. Use this as an opportunity to reconnect with those friends you may have neglected. Alternatively, make plans to spend time with family members. Socializing can be incredibly beneficial, gradually fostering a sense of well-being and confidence. 7. Volunteer. Engaging in acts of kindness often boosts individuals' self-esteem, while simultaneously providing valuable assistance to others. Support those who are less fortunate through charitable endeavors, which can impart a profound sense of fulfillment. Additionally, such activities serve as significant distractions from personal challenges. Psychological facts about love you probably didn't know. Love is a wondrous emotion that defies verbal explanation. It manifests differently for each individual, drawing them closer to those they cherish and desire. Despite its complexity, love possesses an undeniable allure and beauty. Every experience imbued with love is a profound interplay of our brain and heart, influencing our body, mind, and soul. Now, let's explore some psychological insights about love that may surprise you. 1. Attraction is Obsession. When we experience love, our bodies release various hormones that often induce feelings of happiness and excitement. 
Intriguingly, when attraction is present, our minds associate it with the reward center of the brain, which activates during moments of joy. This phenomenon occurs when we feel drawn to someone we are naturally infatuated with. 2. Love is complicated. Love encompasses a blend of three distinct emotions, lust, attachment, and attraction. These feelings fluctuate depending on the circumstances, often leaving individuals deeply perplexed. Balancing these emotions simultaneously is no easy feat and, if mishandled, can lead to disastrous outcomes. Thus, it's no wonder that we often describe love as exceedingly complex. 3. Attachments aren't necessarily love. Attachments aren't always indicative of a romantic connection, unlike lust and attraction. We can form attachments with various individuals and even with non-human entities like friends, pets, or parents. Hormones such as oxytocin and vasopressin play significant roles in fostering long-term relationships, contributing to feelings of attachment, love, and affection. 4. Being in love affects your appetite. When we're deeply infatuated, our thoughts are consumed by our partner. Elevated levels of dopamine and norepinephrine in our bodies create a sense of euphoria and exhilaration. These neurotransmitters, known as happy chemicals, are instrumental in fostering intense feelings of love, often to the extent that we neglect other aspects of life, including our appetite. We may find ourselves forgetting to eat properly and experiencing disruptions in our sleep patterns. 5. The time you take to fall in love. Are you familiar with tales of love at first sight? Indeed, it's quite true that individuals can immediately develop strong feelings for someone. In fact, a study featured in the Journal of Sexual Medicine found that it takes a mere one-fifth of a second for a person to fall in love. That's just how swiftly love can take hold. 6. Love can relieve pain. Intense feelings of love can serve as a source of relief from our pain. When we're enduring physical discomfort or emotional distress, glancing at a photo of our partner or engaging in conversation with them can significantly alleviate our suffering. Ways to get back to dating if you've been feeling burnt out. Navigating the dating scene can evoke a whirlwind of emotions, taking you from moments of exhilaration to bouts of boredom in the blink of an eye. This roller coaster ride is especially common when you're in the early stages of getting to know someone. Occasionally, their idiosyncrasies and habits might become overwhelming, leaving you feeling a mix of frustration, confusion, and exhaustion. That's why we're here to offer some strategies to help you re-engage with dating if you've been feeling burnt out lately. 1. Understand your emotions first. If you find yourself becoming irritated by minor issues, particularly those related to your partner's actions, it's likely that you're experiencing burnout. Even if the source of your frustration isn't directly related to your partner, it's important to carefully examine your emotions during this time. Take a step back and evaluate how you've been managing your feelings. By doing so, you can pinpoint the underlying cause and develop strategies to address it effectively. 2. Start acting on your life. After identifying the root cause of your concerns, you can initiate steps to address them and restore balance to your life. Use this burnout period as an opportunity to let go of unhealthy habits and embrace ones that promote rejuvenation. As you cultivate a more positive mindset, your energy will resonate with those around you, allowing you to reconnect with others and engage socially once more. 3. Embrace your inner energy. Direct your attention towards your feminine energy, which centers on self-connection. This shift in focus can provide insight into feelings of disconnection from someone who may have crossed your dating boundaries or into periods of emotional distance you've experienced. Your feminine energy encompasses delicate emotions that may have become obscured amid the complexities of dating and relationships. Embracing your inner self involves prioritizing your own well-being and self-awareness. 4. Take one step at a time. Now that you've reconnected with and gained insight into your inner self, it's time to re-enter the dating scene. However, there's no need to rush. Take your time to gradually reintegrate into social activities, allowing yourself to regain your footing before considering investing your emotions in someone new. Although it may feel daunting, 
begin to trust others and open yourself up to the possibility of falling in love once more. 5. Move forward. Embrace opportunities to go on dates and accept invitations from potential partners, as it signifies your readiness to move forward. While experiencing burnout in dating can temporarily diminish your enthusiasm, re-engaging with openness to new possibilities can inject fun and excitement back into your dating life. In the process, you might even discover more about yourself. If you enjoyed watching this video don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell, so you don't miss any new videos. Let us know your thoughts about this video in the comments section down below and feel free to stay and enjoy it until the end, also make sure to check out our next highlighted video and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.